Hi guys, it's me, Ms. Mason, and I have a book for you. This is called The Day of the Dinosaur, and it's by Shel Stan and Jan Berenstain, illustrated by Michael Berenstain, and published by Random House New York. Okay, so here we go. The Day of the Dinosaur. A special kind of beast lived very long ago. Its different forms and names are very good to know. Long ago, long, long ago, before many things we now know, before cities, towns, and roads, before people, before birds, frogs, and toads, long, long, long before It was the day of the dinosaur. Some were small, as big as your cat, Fabrosaurus. Some were thin, Mesosaurus. Others fat, Eriops. Some were big. Okay, so there's Fabrosaurus, Mesosaurus, Eriops. Very, very, very big. The giant Brontosaurus was 70 feet tall. Its name means thunder lizard. It was the biggest one of all, Brontosaurus. Dinosaurs roamed all the earth, places far and near. But now that they are gone, how do we know they were here? We know it from the skeletons they have left behind, buried in the earth for scientists to find. The bones, which we call fossils, tell us much about the dinosaur. They tell its size and shape. They tell us much, much more. They tell us Tyrannosaurus rex was huge and fierce and strong. Tyrannosaurus rex with terrible quick jaws and teeth six inches long. Its ferocity was famous. It has long been told of. What did Tyrannosaurus eat? Whatever it got hold of. But sometimes Tyrannosaurus bit off more than it could chew. The armored Stegosaurus was pretty mighty too. There's Stegosaurus. Its back was armor plated. Its tail was tipped with spikes. It's very reckless not to duck when Stegosaurus strikes. Brachiosaurus's nostrils were atop its head. They let it breathe while sleeping in its water bed. Dimetrodon was a carnivore, which means its food was meat. Its great and splendid back sail was used to take in heat. Okay, so there's Brachiosaurus. Here's Dimetrodon. The creature Pteranodon had a 20-foot wingspan. It was the biggest flyer ever since the Earth began. It had a four-foot bill and a very lofty crest. When it comes to flying reptiles, it was the biggest and the best. Archaeopteryx is not an easy word, but neither was it easy being the Earth's first bird. So here's Pteranodon, and there's the Archaeopteryx. After dinosaurs came other kinds of creatures. They also had amazing body parts and features. The saber-toothed tiger, of course, had saber teeth. The prehistoric rhino had, hard ro had rows of horns above and giant tusks beneath. The moa was a flightless bird. It stood 13 feet tall. It had gigantic drumsticks, but its brain was very small. The flightless moa is now extinct. In other words, there are no moa. So here's the saber-toothed tiger. 
Here's the prehistoric rhino. Here's the moa. But it no longer is the day of the dinosaur. Except as fossil bones, they exist no more. They are now extinct. Sometimes we wonder why. Were there just too many for the food supply? Was there a great disaster or did it get too dry? It's the sort of question scientists like to think about. Maybe you'll be a scientist. Maybe you'll be the one to figure it out. And that is the day of the dinosaur. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.